Well, okay, at the time in the mid-70s, you, know, uh, you, you know, popular music was, you know, sort of like disco and things like that, but to, you know, there were a lot of magazines about rock music, so you would have to, you know, buy these magazines, you know, like Circus or Cream or Rock Scene or Crawdaddy, and you read these articles about these, you know, bigger-than-life musicians, so, you know, I would do a lot of that, and you know, that was one of the ways that I found out about punk rock, you know, because in these magazines they would be talking about, you know, these groups from England that were very different, you know, or these, all these groups from New York that were very different, you know, like television, Talking Heads, and Ramones, you know, or, or Sex Pistols, Buzzcocks, Clash, The Damned, all these things. So I'm reading this, so now I have to go you know, I have to get my father to drive me one hour to a town that has a record store <laughs> so that I can go buy these records. You know, so this is, you know, I mean, back in the mid-1970s, finding out about music was a lot different than it is now. Right. So, <laughs> so it was a lot of work. And, you know, so I had to really read and understand, and then I would buy this music and listen to it. And, you know, I just... I couldn't get enough of it. I had was learning guitars, and then when I heard the Ramones, I was like, okay, I should be able to figure this out. If they can do this and have a record this great, I should be able to do this too. <laughs> so. In that sense, was there a turning point, maybe your first show or something like that, where you thought, I actually can do this? This this. Um, well, that that album opened the okay. door. I mean, I was trying to learn, you know, learn hard rock songs, and and you know, that, I sort of learned things. But then again, punk rock was was just so direct, and you know, not a lot of solos, and not a lot of, you know, not a lot of extras. You know, no no limousines, no private planes, no cocaine. You know, I don't think it was so. <laughs> it was. It seemed uh, attainable, like I could do this. So that's what I think made it, you know, so appealing to me. As far as shows, I mean, I would go to concerts in Montreal at the arena, at the uh, Montreal Forum, and I would see, you know, I went to see Aerosmith, I went to see Kiss, I saw Rush, I saw these things. But as far as punk rock, I mean, the show that really did it for me was. The Ramones were playing in Montreal at the university in like a theater that maybe held 1,500 people. And they were opening for Iggy Pop. And that was, I think, was that like the idiot maybe that era? You know, maybe it was so, it, you know, Iggy was, you know, it was that kind of time for him. But, you know, the Ramones, they had 35 minutes as the opening act and they just came out and, you know, one, two, three, four, you know. Three songs, stop for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, you know, three more songs. And I was like, okay, that's, yes, I can do this. 